Hello, welcome to Matrix Digital. My name is Aaron, and today we are going to see how to manipulate save the list. So we are going to start by creating save the list, both in Tab C and Tab J. How we can combine uh, save the list and how to manipulate those lists in JBC program. So let's start by creating save the list. In Tab C, when you want to create a save the list, you need to select the data first and then you save the list. So let's do that. We're going to select customer's account. So fbnk.account with the customer not equals empty. And we want accounts with a positive balance only. So working.balance greater than zero. So this is going to return a lot of accounts. So let's narrow down to 10 accounts. So we do sample 10. And let's also have the customer account together with uh, the company code. So we can do saving eval. So we're going to evaluate uh, this expression, which is the company code. So it's co.code. We are going to concatenate this with uh, comma and concatenate also with the ID of the account which will be selected. Okay, 10 accounts. So to save this list, uh, this list of accounts, we can use save list, save dot list or save hyphen list, and it will give it a name. Let's name it bnk.acct.list. Okay, it's saved. Now let's also see how our list looks like. We can do JED either JED or city. So saved lists. And the name is bnk.acct.list. All right. So we have company code, account, and sure we have 10 accounts. All right. We can use the same query but uh, with uh, a different uh, company. So let's use EU1. We run it and let's save this list under EU1. EU1 is CCT.list. Okay, this is our second list. Uh, let's also run this query against SG1. There are only six accounts. Uh, let's also save it under uh, SG1 ACCT dot list. So we have in total three save the list. One six accounts four accounts and 10 accounts in the BNK. Now we can create a combined list. So how do you combine lists? So to combine a list, we're going to use all lists and you can list our list. So here we have a bnk.acct.list. The second list is eu1.acct.list. And the third one is sg one dot acct dot list so this command is going to select records from all these three lists and combine them we do this so sure enough we have 20 records because in bnk we have 10 eu14 and sg1 we have six we can also save this combined list under a different name. So we do save 
hyphen list or save dot list and the let's name this ACCT dot list all right now let's jet this list and see how it looks like Here it is. all right so as you can see all the lists of accounts have been combined so here we have four accounts of eu1 10 accounts of uh, bnk and six accounts of sg Co all combines in under one saved list good so we're done with the first task of creating a combined list so in short what we have seen we have seen how to create a list by selecting data from uh, t24 database using select command and save the dot list or save list and we have also seen how to combine a list so we select multiple record from multiple lists and combine them in under one list now if you are on J, this won't work because uh, jql is limited uh, in uh, tough j but you can use uh, the capabilities of uh, database so i have an environment on which runs on tough j and i i use sql server so here i can type the database command uh, for instance I can do select I want to select a uh, CO code and record ID and the work ID from actually let's do this so that Let's do this. Let's say from V F B N K account. So this is a, a view. So we're going to select company code and record ID from uh, this um, view F B N K account where working balance is greater than zero and customer is not empty let's see Okay, so I can see we have a lot of accounts. So let's do the same as we did there. We are going just to select 10 accounts. You can do top, top 10. Okay, we have 10 accounts. Then we can also run the same query for a different company. The same way we did in uh, C. So here we're going to select also in EU1 and SG1. Let's run all these three. So as you can see, we have three queries BNK, EU1, SG1. Now, how do you combine in uh, SQL Server? What you do, you can use union. You use union. And you can do union. Let's run. This is going to combine the, these three lists under one. Sure enough, we'll have a combined result. OK. 
Okay. So if you want to sort also by company, we can do that. What we need to do just is here, we can do order by. Order by and we can order by this column. Company code. You know, it's already uh, sorted by this, the same column, but now if we do order by, it's going to start EU001 because E comes before GB. So let's see. Yes. Even if here we started by BNK, but it start, it's going to start by this. So we have EU1, BNK, and SG1. Now, you can just export this you do save as by default is uh, CSV. Let's put this under code. Let's name this um, SCCT dot dot list. Let's maintain the same name, and we don't need any extension, so we can save. It is saved. Let's open it and see how it looks like. I'm going to open with Notepad. All right. It is saved properly. The way we would expect. Now. You need to copy this to save the list. So this is the path for my save the list. I can just do copy and it is already in save the list. So by this we're concluding our first part. Our first part was uh, about selecting data and creating save the list. So the next part is going to be creation of uh, a JBC program to manipulate our list. We are going to do this in both TAFC and TAFG. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and you now know how to manipulate data and create saved list. In the next video, I'm going to use the same list in program. We're going to see how to manipulate this saved list in program. Thank you. See you next. Bye-bye.